What is up guys, it's Scott with Never Hedge back for another Meta Materials update and this is back to the Meta Materials we know and love down 10.5% today. <laughs> Certainly looking like the meta of old, and we had a just gigantic sell-off to start the day. Uh, a couple of dip buyers out there, and then boom! No thank you. No thank you. No thank you. <laughs> and we are moving into, almost into that oversold category on those RSI indicators down here. And let me see if I can get this a little higher. And MACDs are not looking so hot right now. If we go over to the Ortex data, the days to cover has dropped a little bit. Shares on loan also dropped a little bit. Utilization rate has stayed just about the same at 50.3%. And free float on loan is down a little bit from yesterday at 5.68%. We do have some dark pool data here from... The old Reddit boards from Exact Perspective, 508 from a couple hours ago. Over the last 20 days, 63% of MMAT volume was rerouted to the dark pool. Yesterday it was 69%. Good fucking God. Total volume in the dark pool, what is 41.1 million. The VWAP price for only the dark pool trades is 3.87. Uh, TRF trades for MMAT are reported by dark pools to trade reporting facilities and represents activity away from the mainstream or lit exchanges. Very interesting stuff here. And we do have a couple of huge buys uh, from today. Uh, Fidelity Total Market Index Fund picked up uh, right around a million shares of MMAT stock here uh, on the Fintel data. Picked up a fucking million shares of this. Uh, they're they're already down between 3.6 and 4.8 percent on this, but I'm sure they are not worried, and I am not worried about this either. Let's go over to the short interest on Fintel. Short volume ratio is up quite a bit from yesterday, up to 31.96 percent, and the days to cover has almost doubled right now. Uh, One point. One seven days to cover, and I think yesterday, I think Ortex data might be a little bit outdated because we're at this must be for yesterday. So I think Fintel's got the most up to date stats here. And yeah, the short shares availability has dropped from uh, 2.7 to 1.6 million, down as low as 900,000. So yeah, the shorts are really fucking hammering us today. Short bar fee rate is up uh, a little bit about 10% from yesterday up to 6.08 as high as 6.1 and yesterday it was as high as 5.97 averaging around 5.86 and then we're going to go quick to the naked short report this uh, confirms some things that we already know so as of yesterday 61.27% of the total volume was shorted so that's pretty fucking wild as well and I want to get to a couple of interesting ideas okay yeah i went down a little bit of a rabbit hole on this uh, meta materials plus samsung equals new fold galaxy and so uh, the article they're referring to is uh well it was a couple of different articles but this was one of them this was from back in 2019 talking about how shitty the original samsung uh, galaxy phone fold was and they're interviewing Papa George on this. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, so this article is uh, talking mostly about metamaterials, uh, the glasses, glass that they made that would shield pilots from laser attacks. And this, they're showing off the, the little metamaterial laser blocking glasses. And so they interview uh, Papa George on this talking about the Samsung phone and uh, how they could how their nano web uh, would make the phone better I want to go over to yes this so Samsung's uh, new foldables will arrive at unpacked on August 11th Meta Materials earnings uh, call is August 10th so that is pretty fucking wild and then 
their partnership with Samsung has not been confirmed uh, on this phone, but if you go over to uh, their investor deck from January 2021, they have here their list of their OEM partners and customers. Look what we have right here. Fucking Samsung, baby. This could absolutely be announced at the Samsung Unpacked uh, event, 7 a.m. Pacific on August 11th. So we're going to be looking out for that. And I am getting more excited by the day despite the continuing drop of the, the share price here. Not worried about that at all. Know what you hold. Uh, we're going to keep an eye on this for you guys long term so as always guys please make sure you're subscribed to the channel for more updates on meta materials as well as other stocks and tokens we like and i thank you guys so much for watching this far and i'll see you in the next video